Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit different. I haven't really done anything like this before, but I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. So the kind of style of this video is a bit inspired by another video I saw. I can't remember the girl's name, but I'll find the video and I'll put a little picture of it like here or something. So I thought that was really cool because you don't often see kind of bigger size medium girls doing clothing hauls and I thought why not do one myself because I too am a size medium and I do absolutely love watching clothing hauls from smaller girls as well but I think it is really nice to watch a clothing haul where someone is the same body type as you and you can see how the clothes look and like really see if you would want to buy that sort of thing. So I did some shopping on the Iconic. I've had this bag for like two weeks and I only opened it today because I was waiting for the day I could film this video. As you can see by the size of that bag, I definitely went a little bit overboard, but everything was on sale. Everything was $20 or under, I'm pretty sure. A straight up lie, which you will see later. But in my defense, I did think that. So I feel like it's not too bad because when you first go on the website, if you're someone who shops on the Iconic, everything looks super expensive. You can get like designer bags on there. There's like the big clothing brands, stuff for like $400. But if you go into the sales section, you can find a ton of like dresses and tops and pants and stuff for like 20 bucks. So that is what I did. I'll put a photo of what the item looks like on the model in comparison to how it looks when I'm wearing it so that you guys can kind of see because everything that I bought was modeled on like a size eight and then I bought everything in a size 12. Usually I wear about a 10 to 12 New Zealand sizes. Um, oftentimes I can wear an 8, just depends on the clothing brand which tells you all you need to know about how screwed up women's sizing is. So I'm going to start out with the tops because I'm just wearing a pair of denim shorts and I feel like all of these tops will look good with these shorts. So the first one I got is this little crop top, very summery. It's cream with like a little pink red flower design on it. The brand for this one is Cotton On. The Iconic sells a bunch of different brands so Cotton On isn't usually that expensive but then it goes all the way up to the expensive brands as well. Okay so this is the first top. I think it is so cute. I am obsessed with how it looks with denim. I'm super happy with this one. It is a little bit big in the shoulders but that's nothing that I can't fix with like a little bit of sewing. <laughs> Okay, so the next one I'm going to try on is this tie, tie up top and it is from the brand Daisy. So I really like this one. I think it is perfect for summer. It looks kind of like a little picnic outfit, <laughs> which I think is super cute. It just ties at the back here and I'm not entirely sure I have it right. I'll have to look at the picture. I feel like this is how it's supposed to tie up. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not embarrassing myself. I think it's super cute, looks really cute with the denim shorts again. I think this is also a great top for spring just as it's starting to warm up a little bit because it's got some sleeves and the material is quite nice and thick as well. Okay, the next one I'm going to try on is just this little cropped peplum top and it is from the brand At Moss and Here. So this one is really cute. It's just a little black staple. I feel like it would go with any kind of pants. I really like these straps. I think adjustable straps are like so key because I always find that spaghetti straps are way too long for me and if they're not adjustable it's so annoying. But adjustable straps are really the way to go and I think they're super cute when they're like tie ones. It just gives a little more of like a visual element to it. Okay, so everything else that I have are dresses. <laughs> I am such a dress girl. I would wear a dress every single day if I could. I think they're just so easy. You don't even have to think about your outfit. So yeah, the rest of this haul is going to be dresses. This is the first one. It's just a nice wraparound peach colored linen dress. I've been really into linens lately. I just wanna like fill my whole closet with linen clothing because I feel like the fabric just feels so nice, especially in summer. It's nice and like lightweight while also still looking like sturdy and like good quality. So this is the first linen dress. I think it is so cute and I love how it ties at the side instead of the back. I think it just looks so like dainty with a little bow there so that's super cute. I love wrap dresses because it doesn't matter what size your waist is. I find it really hard to shop for dresses that are like fitted because my waist is not like a typical size medium waist. I'm pretty much straight up and down. I don't have any kind of curves on my waist so it is really nice to have a wrap dress that you can just make the right size around your waist. You know what I mean? I think this dress will look super good with a nice tan so it'll be perfect in summer. 
won't be as close to my skin color, but no, I think it's really cute and I'm super happy with it. All right, the next dress I am going to try on is this white one. It has a little belt. Um, a lot of the white dresses I got probably are going to look very similar, but I really am loving white dresses at the moment, so I'm hoping that they all look good. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like this one kind of looks like a Halloween nurse's costume. Um, it's not bad. I can probably make it work. I feel like with an iron, it'll probably look a lot better because it is very creased at the moment. Maybe with my hair down. We'll make it work, we'll make it work. It's not my favorite so far, but it's fine. This one is a nice like bluey green um, slip dress. I really hope this looks good because it can go either two ways. It'll either look good or it'll look like a satin sleeping dress. What is the name of a sleeping dress? Nighty. Okay, I definitely feel like it's kind of nightgowny, but I feel like I can make it work once it's all ironed and nice. As you can see, it's got a little slit. It looks so good on the model. How does... I feel like as soon as I try on these types of things, I just look like I'm going to bed and they always look absolutely stunning ready for a night out. I'm sure as soon as you put on a denim jacket and some like boots, it'll make it happen. Maybe I should have faked hand before this video. Definitely should have faked hand before this video. Oh well. <laughs> this one also has adjustable straps, which is really nice. <laughs> The next one I'm going to try on is another white linen dress. Oh, I already love it. I really hope it looks good on because right now, looking at this in the mirror, I think it's so cute. Um, this one is from Daisy. Oh, I just pulled a muscle in my neck. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is what I was saying about women's sizing because this one is so tight and snug on my entire body and it's a size 12 and everything I've tried on from Amazon here has been like slightly too big. These brands are really just making up their own sizing really. But I am super happy that it fits um, because I think this is such a cute little dress. I really love the square neckline. I think it looks beautiful. I absolutely love this dress. I can see myself wearing it so often on nights out in summer. I think it's the perfect little going out dress. <laughs> The next one I'm going to try on is from Amazon here. It is just this cute little baby blue kind of layer dress. Story time. I was in Carrie the Musical in Auckland and the clothing designer, she took us all out shopping to get our costumes for the show. The show was set in a high school so they were just wearing like casual clothes and we had to get a ball dress and everything. Keep in mind she like told me that she runs her own ball shop and so she like styles people for a living. <laughs> I tried on so many things and she didn't like any of them. I was just literally trying on everything in my size, trying to find a dress for this prom scene. And she had originally said no black and no white. We had to have like some kind of colors because of all the lighting and everything. I tried on literally every dress in my size, <laughs> every color you could possibly think of. And she told me that no colors looked good on me. <laughs> I had to have a black dress. She literally had to backtrack and be like, okay, you can have a black dress because she told me no colors looked good on me and there was every color in that store <laughs> am i just that pale that nothing looks good except black and white i was hurt it stuck with me now i'm afraid of colors but i feel like i feel like this blue is okay i don't know if maybe she was just being dramatic but <laughs> i don't know that's probably why i bought so many white dresses because i know that they're safe and i'm hoping this blue will be too it looked super cute on the model. I feel like I look a little bit like um, in the old days and I'm about to go and like milk some cows. I'm gonna try tying it at the back. Okay, I feel like that looks a little better. 
I don't know how I feel about this dress. I kind of think it's cute, but I also, I don't like the neckline. I don't know why I wore a v-neck dress. I just must have been mesmerized by how it looked on the model. I think it's cute. I can't, I need to go adjust my mirror. I can't see. Okay, now that I can see it properly and see that it's like short, it's not like a full length milkmaid dress or anything. I actually, I kind of like it. I'm still, it's not my favorite. Um, I think I could pull it off though. You just need to wear stuff and you're pulling it off. That's my motto. You don't have to feel amazing, but as long as people think that you feel amazing, it's gonna work for you. Okay, I have three more left. Oh, this looks a bit see-through. Oh, it looks very see-through. It said it was lined, but the lining's literally doing nothing. It's just this kind of midi dress with spots. It's got a nice little slit in there. Um, <laughs> okay, first off, for a size 12, this is very, very tight across the chest. I have very small boobs, but I feel like a lot of size 12s do not. This dress is definitely more of an 8 to 10. It's definitely not a 12. It does not fit like a 12. I do think it's a cute dress and I like the fit around my waist. It could be looser around the boob area, especially for people who aren't flat chested like I am. Imagine if I got everything in a size 10, I wouldn't even be able to get this past my knees. The feeling of the material on this one is like a satiny kind of material, similar to the green one. Yeah, I don't really know if I have anything else to say about this one. Let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> Alright, so the next one is this black one, kind of similar to that white one I tried on, but it's got like these buttons instead of the tie front, but it does have this like nice little hem, I don't know how to describe that, but yeah, it's got this nice little hem that's a bit different. I freaking love this dress, this is probably my favourite, I love the sweetheart neckline, I think that is so stunning. It fits me exactly, like my waist is usually troublesome, but it fits my waist perfectly, even makes me look a little bit mm, cut in at the sides. I think the square back is so cute and it's also like kind of um, gathered at the back, little like stretchy gather, so I think that's why it fits my waist so perfectly because you can like pull it. This dress is a 10 out of 10. I'm so glad I got it in black because you can wear it to like literally anywhere. I just can't stop looking at this neckline. Oh. I've always said my wedding dress is gonna have a sweetheart neckline. It just reminds me of like princess dresses. <laughs> exactly the same as this dress it's just a different neckline and no buttons it's even got like the stretchy back what can I say I have a type I am obsessed with this one as well it is super cute it's just got the straight cut neckline everything else is pretty similar to the last one but it has got puffier sleeves I think that's super cute <laughs> So that is everything that I bought. I don't think there was anything that I actually would return even if I could, you know what I mean? I feel like everything is something that I do like, if not love, a lot of them that I absolutely love. There's probably only one or two that I was kind of like, mm, but I'll definitely still wear them. I think I can make them work. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little different, but trying to expand my YouTube horizons a little, trying to do something different and I thought this would be a fun video since I was already buying this stuff anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.